In this video, I will show you how to perform propensity score analysis in SPSS. We want to analyze effect of SLE on coronary calcification. Both SLE and calcification is coded as binary variable. So first, we are going to create propensity score. Propensity score is a probability of having SLE given a set of confounding factors. So you go to binary logistic regression and you include SLE as dependent variable. Okay? So here you put all potential confounders. And what are confounders? Confounders are the factors which are causally associated to the outcome. Okay? So you need to, based on your clinical judgment or biology, to judge which factors are causally associated with outcome variable. You can't look at a bivariate analysis and you can't check graphs either. Okay, You're not allowed to look at data. So we know age is strong risk factor for calcification and gender is also. And put the BMI and uh, let's say um, back years of smoking, hypertension and I put the race. Uh, this is a binary variable for white versus non-white race. Okay, and then we combine all cholesterol-related factors into principal components. So we are going to include both components in here. So we are going to create predicted probability as a new variable and paste it into working data set. So in order to do that, you need to push this save button. Okay. And then everything you see in this save button and when you click, an SPS is going to create the variables. Okay. And then paste into working data set. So here we want to create predicted probability. So this is a predicted value and probability. So that's what we need. And then we click continue and click OK. And let's make sure it's created new variable. That's this one. Okay. So um, this variable, if I check label, say predicted probability. Okay. based on the binary logistic regression we just performed. All right, so that's this one. And then now, if you want to conduct matching, what you do is you will sort data set within cases and within controls by this predicted probability. And you want to sort data set within SLE within control by within controls by this predicted probability which is a propensity score. Okay? So I sort it from biggest to smallest. So let's find a match for ID number 51. And this person's predicted probability propensity score is 0.919. So you go to control group and then find patient find a control who has closest propensity score to this person. So um, we match this person to this. Okay. Next SLE person has predicted probability 0.89. So we grab this next person and match with this person. Okay. And then you continue doing this. So the third person, you match with this person. Okay. And then this person, you match with this person. Okay. And there is no automated way to do this in SPSS. So you basically have to do it all by hand. If you don't want to do that, and please let us know. And using our software, we can do this in a matter of three seconds. So instead of matching, and today we will do propensity score adjustment. So now we perform analysis, main analysis, analyzing effect of SLE on calcification. So you go to binary logistic regression. So instead of SLE, now we put the calcium as a dependent variable. Okay, and then let's. Take all out. Okay. 
So we need to see the effect of SLE. So SLE gets in and we put the propensity score. Okay, so propensity score replace all of covariates. Okay, so let's click OK. Okay, so after you control for age, sex, BMI, hypertension, race, and pack years of smoking through propensity score, adjusted effect of SLE is 5.39 in terms of odds ratio, and which is highly significant. So now I want to see what happened if we use logit instead of predicted probability. So you do what is a logit? Logit is log of predicted probability over 1 minus predicted probability. Okay, click OK. And let's make sure result won't change by using logit instead of predicted probability. So using pre using logit, odds ratio become 5.423. So it's very similar. So then, what should we do next? And I don't feel comfortable ending analysis here because I usually want to include strong prognosis factor. And that could improve precision of analysis. So I know age is the strongest risk factor for classification. So uh, let's include age. And I know number of events or number of events was 26. So divide by 10. So that's a little bit stretch. But 2.6 is close to 3. So let's see. Um, it's, so it's probably OK. So let's go to binary logistic and include age. Okay, and click OK. All right. So now by adjusting, further adjusting for age, and adjusted odds ratio for SLE become eight point six five, and very highly significant. So some of you may wonder using propensity score, and it's should control for bias, but what and the age was included in the propensity score. And then further including age, it changed odds ratio dramatically. So why is that? Unlike linear regression, in logistic regression, this is called uncollapsibility of odds ratio. So even when all covariates are perfectly balanced, when you adjust for strong prognosis factor for outcome, and it can change odds ratio and usually it changed in the direction to make uh, association stronger. That's why I wanted to include a uh, high prognosis factor in the equation even though those are included in the propensity score. And some people may wonder if it's okay to include age when age is included in the propensity score because they can be coordinated. Okay. In order to cause multicollinearity problems, two factors, two, two variables have to be highly coordinated. So here, Pearson's coordination coefficient is minus 0.268, so it is, it is statistically significant, although if it's highly coordinated or not, then it would check coordination coefficient, not the p-value. So if the coordination coefficient is greater than 0 0.5, 0 0.6, then I'd probably worry. But based on this, and I wouldn't think age and propensity score are highly coordinated enough to cause multicollinearity problem. As you see, analysis with propensity score is not difficult at all. But also, it's important to know propensity score is not the magic bullet. So proper validation for propensity score is important. So I highly recommend you to work with statistician when you conduct analysis with propensity score.